humans have always been fascinated with space for thousands of years. We have felt a primordial urge to explore and to find a new place far beyond our imagination. India too embarked on this exploration when a boy born to a humble family on 13th January 1949 in Punjab took to the skies. Who knew that one day his journey would inspire millions of people around the globe to look towards space. Rakesh Sharma completed his early years of education in Hyderabad. Inspired by his fascination of flying, he joined the National Defence Academy as an Air Force cadet in 1966. After graduating from the NDA, he received an extensive training in flying. Soon, he earned his wings when he was commissioned as a pilot with the Indian Air Force in the year 1970. Little did he know that the plane he used to imitate as a child, he would one day be piloting it. His passion for flying opened up several opportunities. When the Indian Air Force wanted test pilots for the supersonic fighter aircraft, the MiG-21. He soon found himself in a frontline squadron, flying during the 1971 Indo-Pak War, where he flew 21 operations. Looking at his remarkable capabilities, he was soon selected to go on an extraordinary mission, codenamed Project Pavan. Six months into an 18-month long training, he was finally told about the space mission as part of a joint program between the Indian Space Research Organization and the Soviet's Intercosmos Space Program. Out of the numerous drooling physical and psychological tests that he and his colleague Ravish Malhotra had to endure to get selected, Rakesh Sharma passed with flying colors. On the 3rd of April 1984, history was created. At precise 6.38 p.m. Indian Standard Time, Rakesh Sharma, along with two other Russian cosmonauts, blasted off from the Baikonur Cosmodrome in Kazakhstan on the Soyuz T-11 spacecraft that later docked with Salyut 7 space station. And by doing so, he became the 128th person and the first Indian to go to space. During his seven days, 21 hours and 40 minutes aboard the Salyut 7, Rakesh Sharma conducted several scientific and technical studies. He also performed yoga to combat the effects of weightlessness while orbiting the Earth 300 kilometers above. During his mission, a joint television interaction with the late Prime Minister Srimati Indira Gandhi was held. ऊपर से भारत कैसा दिखता है आपको? जी मैं बगैर किसी झिझक के कह सकता हूँ कि सारे जहाँ से अच्छा। On his return from space, Rakesh Sharma had a heroic welcome. He was awarded. India's highest peacetime military decoration award, the Ashoka Chakra, by the Indian government. He was also awarded the Hero of the Soviet Union 
and the Order of Lenin by the erstwhile Soviet government. After serving 15 years with the Indian Air Force as a pilot, Rakesh Sharma later joined the Hindustan Aeronautics Limited as a chief test pilot and played a pivotal role in the development of India's light combat aircraft, Tejas. Out of a flying career spanning 33 years, he spent 24 years testing aircraft and systems. During this period, he flew 4,000 hours on all frontline fighter aircraft of the Indian Air Force. Rakesh Sharma inspired an age of space exploration in India that we are still living in today. The brave audacity of this man to conquer the unknown will forever be remembered for as long as we continue to reach to the stars. When you have the tricolor on your arm, your performance goes beyond your potential.